Maybe the message same one is today. <laughs> and my name is Thiago. Uh, I would like to thank you, Ambassador Edmundo Fujita, for coming all the way to Seoul to our workshop. I also would like to thank you, Mr. Uh, Dr. Lee from Hana Micro, to make this possible. And I would like to thank you, all of you, for coming from Daejeon, Seoul, Suwon, and, and so on. Uh, so first, and also I'd like to thank you, uh, interns from Hana Micro, <coughs> for making this possible. So first, I would like to call on stage Mr. Edmundo Fujita, ambassador from Brazil in Seoul. Good afternoon to everybody. I hope you all had a very good trip. A little bit delayed perhaps, but uh, our time schedule I understand is flexible Brazilian way. <laughs> <laughs> we can go into a nice session, no problem. Uh, so, uh, well, I recognize first of all Dr. Hugh Lee, director of uh, R&D of Hannah Micro, organized the event. Sishkin from KFPP, and he's supporting us in this uh, uh, Student Without Borders program. Uh, the representative of Korean companies who will be coming to talk with you uh, during this event. And uh, of course, to you, my, my friends, my already old friends, uh, Brazilian and Korean uh, students. Uh, well, uh, I was asked to, do, to say a few opening remarks, so I would like to, to make a few comments and uh, well, we'll try to be brief because the, the schedule uh, is running and uh, my, my words, my, my, what I have to say is not so important. The important thing is to listen and to discuss what the others will say, those who are really participating directly of the pro in the program. So, uh, first of all, I would like to uh, to recognize the people who organized this very marvelous event and I would ask them to stand one by one so that we can recognize them. So, Dr. Hugh Lee. Giovanni Dutra. Guilherme Lopes. Jonas Martins, Lisa Simon, Luis Kochman, David Ferraz, Charlie Teixeira, I thank them all for their efforts in organizing this, uh, this excellent program and I'm sure uh, you have a very nice experience you will take a lot of uh, uh, good lessons from this uh, event and then we will bring back some very important and very cherished memories back to Brazil that you can partake in the future among yourselves when you become more uh, become professionals and you are in your adult life and you are sharing your professional experiences. So Mr. Hugli has been dedicating long hours and huge effort to make, to make this event possible. Uh, his company Hana Micro under the leadership of uh, Chairman Che uh, is a pioneer in cooperation between Korea and Brazil in the the field of semiconductors and uh, the joint venture that they have uh, with uh, HD Mi uh, Micro Brazil uh, is a true milestone in the development of Brazilian uh, researches and, uh, and industry in this sector. So the Brazilian embassy has been following very closely this, uh, this uh, event, this joint venture, 
and uh, I see that we are extremely satisfied and we do hope that uh, this will be the first of many, many other examples that will uh, uh, multiply in Brazil, taking uh, cooperation between Korea and Brazil, uh, which they more meaningful and more profitable for both sides. Uh, Dr. Lee has also organized the first shop, uh, workshop in Jeju last year. And in this way, he's actively promoting the great integration between Brazilian and the Korean students, researchers, and business circles. So, what will be next year? I don't know, maybe uh, DMZ. It's not going to very interesting. Uh, so, and also the students of the workshop organizing committee have done an outstanding job in preparing this great event, mm -hmm. and we thank you very much for your brilliant program organization. And last but, last but not least, uh, uh, I would like to refer to my close collaborator, uh, Daniel Fink, who has been a tireless promoter of uh, the relevant context and organization, organizational arrangement for the Science Without Borders. And uh, since the first day of the program here in Korea, so I, I believe he is nowadays a kind of fixture, fixture among the, uh, the Brazilian students here in Korea because he is always giving advice uh, and listening to the problems uh, that you all have here in Korea and he's giving incentives. So he's uh, the best channel you can have between the Korean uh, people, the Korean uh, business people and, uh, and university uh, personnel and the embassy in case of any anything you, you may need from us. Uh, so please once again give them all our enthusiastic round of applause. <laughs> so, uh, I would like to thank also the representatives of uh, Kita, Semaco, Korea Register of Shipping and KPLT uh, for joining this joining this workshop. Their participation today is a clear demonstration of support and commitment of the Korean uh, 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 relevant sectors to the uh, uh, science without borders program, uh, without borders program, and, uh, uh, and uh, show their interest in strengthening more and more the relation between Brazil and Korea, not only now but for the long way ahead in the future. So this is a future-oriented project. And I believe this time shop workshop will serve uh, many important purposes for us all. First, it will allow all participants to report their experiences and evaluation of their academic and training programs and suggest ways and means to further improve them. I think that's also important. You would like to have your feedback also in how we could uh, make it even more uh, profitable, even more uh, interesting and more fruitful for others who will come after you as well. Uh, second, uh, this informal interaction between students and uh, mentors and business people will also strengthen very much the networking among yourselves. And this will be something very important in the future when you are in a professional career. And last also, uh, not least, you will also have the opportunity to visit this marvelous city of Jeonju, which is uh, one of the most famous uh, uh, historical sites of Korea. It's a, a, a world patrimony, a pat patrimony of mankind, a uh, UNESCO, and probably I understand you will have the chance to visit many of those sites tomorrow. And I do hope that uh, you enjoy and appreciate very much the, how this, uh, this civilization was so dedicated to advancement even of science since very early times. For instance, the Shiva dynasty who uh, ruled uh, the country here from here from 57 before Christ to 935 Christian era uh, was the first to unify the existing Korea, then existing Korea three kingdoms, Goguryeo, uh, Merchet and Sila to one brilliant civilization since 668. And there are plenty of historical, cultural temples and monuments that are now well worth a visit, including uh, the first astronomical laboratory, uh, observatory that uh, was built at that time. So 
thousand and something years ago. Uh, well, I have uh, already mentioned to you that when you arrive here in Korea, uh, that uh, Korea is a well-kept secret, but a hidden treasure, and uh, few people knew about it in Brazil. But now, uh, you, the students of Science Without Border, are discovering it, exploring it, and going back to Brazil to spread that you have uncovered a great hidden treasure. And an experience like this, at your stage in life, makes a lot of difference. And uh, in, prof in your professional life, in your uh, career in the future. And uh, I think this is something that you should take most advantage of. Uh, I myself, when I was your age, I had this kind of opportunity. I went to study a uh, scholarship in Japan at the time. It was another hidden treasure. And uh, many people that, uh, with whom I studied at the time, and my colleagues of, of uh, scholarship, they are all became all very notable persons, and uh, we kept contacts, we kept exchanging information, and this is something that is very valuable. We will see in the future how, how important it is to have this kind of network. Uh, in Brazil, we tend to look at Asia as a distant and exotic uh, region with very few affinities in Brazil, but we prefer to turn our views to the United States, to <coughs> Europe, which are more familiar. But Asia is nowadays uh, one of the most dynamic regions of the globe, and particularly in the field of science and technology and innovation, I believe it is second only to the United States. China, Japan, and China, in China, Japan, and Korea already surpassed European countries in many, many uh, advanced science technology fields. And among those, these Asian countries, I believe personally that Korea is the most promising, is the most open to cooperation with Brazil. Uh, so I think this excellent receptivity that the Korean universities and companies uh, are having uh, with you, like accepting our, our, our requests and the suggestions for internship, for, for courses, is a clear demonstration of how much interested they are in, in, the, in the future of Brazil, uh, to the point of uh, cooperating, sometimes even uh, sharing many of the most advanced knowledge in the field. So I think this is the best occasion, the best opportunity for all of you today very good advantage of this opportunity that is very unique. Uh, this uh, this uh, cooperation also has, I uh, should not forget to mention, it has been possible also thanks to the uh, support of entities like KFPP, uh, KITA, KCCI, and others that uh, represent some great organizations uh, representing enterprises. Well, uh, coming back, uh, going a little back to uh, some future prospects. A uh, recent survey made in Brazil, maybe many of you have already seen it, showed that Brazil has a deficit of 40,000 engineers right now. However, in practice, uh, it is still difficult to, to get a good first employment uh, for newly graduated university students. <coughs> Uh, only about 13.6% of candidates are already contracted, even before graduation, uh, whereas 35.6% uh, they took more than six months to, to, to find their first opportunity, which not, does not necessarily mean that it's the best one, and some are still looking for it today. 38% uh, of those hired were hired on the basis of recommendation, so it's important to to know good people who can recommend your name. And 28.7% were contact, contracted during training training period. The general impression is that uh, the industries, the companies, give, attach a great importance uh, to people who already come with some experience, not only academic, but also in the field. And this is a rare opportunity that you have, uh, have you are having here in Korea, I think it's a quite uh, a special case along the Student Without Border uh, program because uh, we were able to, to have the, to count on the goodwill of the Korean enterprises to, 
to accept so many students in, in, their, in their facilities, to, to train them, to show them you know, how it is done, in practice, etc. So this uh, don't miss this chance. Uh, uh, Brazilian Embassy now is working hard to promote also for the future uh, something that we, we call it among ourselves the 2 plus 2 uh, type of cooperation it may, means ideally that uh, maybe one Korean enterprise and one, one Korean uh, research institution would cooperate with one, one Brazilian company and one Brazilian research institution for a joint project this kind of association is a very synergistic one because both sides have a lot to gain, a lot to, to learn from each other, and it and, uh, is uh, it's something that is useful for both countries, for Brazil and for Korea. For Korea, for enlarging their, their area of uh, economic activity, for Brazil, for uh, developing further our own internal development. So I hope that uh, in, in the future you will be some people about figures in this kind of activity. Um, so I, I, in this regard, I would like to suggest some ideas for when you return to Brazil. Uh, I'm sure that all of you have a stake in, in strengthening the ties between Brazil and Korea. After all, you have invested an important part of your academic life and professional life here. So you, you be very much uh, would have a lot gained by strengthening this kind of relation with Korea. And uh, you will be taking up important positions in the future. Uh, and it will be very important to keep a close network with your companions. So you could form a kind of a alumni group, uh, keeping close contact with your teachers, instructors, among yourselves as well, and exchange information on relevant initiatives and projects which might be of interest to, to each other. So periodic meetings, for instance, of alumni, or as well as constant flow of communication, information, would uh, certainly benefit all of you who have already uh, shared this unique common experience in Korea. <coughs> you may recommend each other to relevant positions and opportunities, and intensify your bonds of friendship for here in Korea. I'm sure that this kind of post-Korean bonds uh, will be highly, highly beneficial to all of you as more and more new colleagues will be coming to Korea and joining your networking circle. <coughs> so, thank you all for listening attention to my ramblings here, but from the point of view of a old uh, student, similar to you that you have studied abroad, I know how important this program is uh, and this art. <coughs> Sincere wish at the embassy, uh, not only in, in, on behalf of the Brazilian government, but on behalf of the Brazilian society, that you go back to Brazil to, to have very important functions uh, with what you have learned here. Okay, so I hope you also take your time to enjoy this beautiful city of Guangzhou and have a nice weekend. So thank you all. <coughs>